but right now I've created this simple contact us page in just about 10 minutes so people will now be able to simply enter their first name last name email and then your message in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a contact page in your WordPress website by using Elementor Let's get started right away. This will be very easy and beginner friendly as well. So we're going to start off by going to plugins, click add new, and then we're going to install a plugin that we're going to need in order to do this. And that plugin is WP forms. Next up, you want to click on this one right here, click install now. Now you want to make sure to stick around and after installing, click on activate. Now you can see that this is an amazing plugin because it has over on 7,800 7, reviews, 5 stars, and 3 million active installations. So I'll get back to you guys once this plugin is installed on my website. There we go. Step number two is to click on activate, and then we can get started with our contact form, which we're going to need on our contact page. So if you scroll down, you can click on create your first form. And then next up, you have a few options. So we can go with a blank form. So we'd have to build our contact form on our contact page from scratch, or you can go with a simple contact form, a newsletter sign up, or suggestion form. Now, if you go with the pro plan on WP Forms, you can also go with these options right here. So we'd have request a quote, donation, or billing. But for now, I'll be going with the simple contact form. That's what I recommend doing. If you click on that, you'll then be sent to this page where you can see your contact form. Now we're going to place this on our contact page on our website. I'm going to do that using Elementor in a bit, but before that I want to show you how you can customize this and how you can add emails and all of that. So right here we've got name, email, and then custom, a message, or a comment. So what you can do is simply click on a section and you can then customize it so you can change this name right there. You can also add, let's see, a placeholder, so for example, you can type in first name here and you'll then see it uh, showing up right there. Same for this right there. It then shows up, right? So that's what you can do. You can also add other sections. If you go to add fields, you can add a single line text. Simply drag that over here, for example. Let me do that again. There you go. Now, I'll leave it up to you guys whether you want to do it or not. But just may, like I just wanted you to know that you can, of course, do that. But this is pretty much how you can set up a form. Now, all of this is pretty simple, pretty standard. So what I'm going to do is go to field options right there. Okay, all of this is looking great. Like I said, you can customize all of this if you want to. If you, don't, if you then go into settings, you can set up the notifications. So send to email address, admin email. So you can set up all of this from, so from which email you want to send it, and then to which email. All right, so you can set up all of the email notifications and confirmations on here. So this is the message that people will get when they click on, let's see, submit right there. People will then get this email or like this message, all right? So you can customize this as well. You can also send them over to a page or to a URL. Now, with all of this being said, guys, we've just created a simple contact form. All I'm going to do is also put in a placeholder text on the email and there we go once you set up your contact form you want to click save in the top right corner and then you're set now next up what you can do is go to pages click add new or you can already use an existing page if you have one I'm just gonna name this contact page or like contact us right and then I'm gonna use Elementor to edit the website or like the page so click on edit with Elementor then I'm just going to open up Elementor so that we can build a nice looking contact us page which you can then use on our WordPress website because that's exactly what you guys want to do, right? So here we've got the page. Now let me go and add some structure. There we go. Let me add, let's see, what do we need? We need, first of all, the contact form. So we, what you would do is search for WP forms. If you then drag this over here, there we go, you can then see WP, uh, WP forms showing up. Now what's important to do next is select the contact form that you've just created. So the one that I just created is this one, simple contact form ID 3775. So you wanna select it and then there we go, it now shows up. So as of right now, this is our contact page, like our contact us form, right? If people click submit, 
then all of that is working, which is great. But we can also customize this. So we can add a background, of course, if you want to. You can go with colors. You can also go with gradient colors, of course. Let's see, there we go. Gradient, so you can customize all of this, but I'll leave it up to you guys for now. I'll just be going with a classic one. This looks fine to me. Now, once we've added the contact form, we can set up our actual contact us page. So what you can do, for example, is add an image. What you would then do is simply click on choose image right here. You could then upload an image that's um, relevant to your website or to your brand or your business. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll down for a bit. Let's see if I can actually find a good photo. And there we go. So for example, you can upload this. If you have a fitness page, for example, you can do that. Now, once I'm done uploading that picture, I'm gonna click insert media and it should then show up on our contact us page. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. All right, so I just played around a little bit and then right now, this is the contact page and this is what it's looking like. Now, like I said, you can customize this, of course, by adding text, um, your location and all of that good stuff. But right now I've created this simple contact us page in just about 10 minutes. So people will now be able to simply enter their first name last name, email, and then your message, I mean their message, and they can then click on submit, and then that's actually working. So if this simple video helps you out, please consider leaving a like on the video. I would really appreciate that. So I've shown you step-by-step step how you can create a simple contact us page in WordPress by using Elementor and then also WP Forms. So if this video helps you out, leave a like on the video, and then I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.